this is Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. This is um, Whip Parade installment number two. I broke it up into three pieces. This, this piece is holidays, which is Christmas, Halloween, and patriotic, and seasons and months. So I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. This first group is going to be holiday, so I'm going to start with Christmas. This is one of my oldest Christmas whips. I don't have the date. This one doesn't have a card for some reason. Um, this is part of the Farmhouse Christmas series by um, Little House Needleworks. And it's called Grandma's Quilt. I actually have all these patterns, and I was going to stitch them all in one, and I've since changed my mind. So for now, I'm starting with this one, and I'm going to make it into a small, probably a pillow or an ornament. This one is pretty close to being done. This is where I'm at. This is on 16 count or 18. I don't remember. I think it's called Peaceful Peaceful Purple Ada Cloth. I got it from 123 Stitch. I changed the colors so that it's got purples in it instead of the traditional colors that are in this one. I do like a lot of those patterns. So like I said, I will go and um, stitch them separately instead of all together like I had originally planned. My next one is by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is the Santa's Night Tree pattern. Um, I took the classic Jingle Ball and this is to be made into a tree. I have a tiny little start on this one. It's being stitched on 40 count something. Oh, I don't have my tag. I haven't written it down yet, just 40 count. Um, it's a dark, dark blue. And I just have a very small start on this one. This is the very bottom row. And it's only part of it. It goes way over here. So it's one color in the very bottom row. This is the fabric is a dark, dark blue. It's a really pretty fabric. Um, but you have to have the right lighting to stitch on this in um, with the dark dark fabric. I'm not really good at stitching on dark fabric, but I think that's going to look really cool. My next one is Jingle Bell Sleigh Ride. This was a stitch along, I think, hosted by Nicole Spore. I only got part of mine done. Um, this is a Cherry Hill Stitchery pattern, and I'm stitching this on. Oh, my thing isn't there again. I haven't said the fabric. I think this is Raspberry Latte, 32 count Raspberry Latte by Grace Notes Fabrics. That's what I think this is because that's what the color looks like. Oops, I just messed up my needle. So this is as far as I've gotten on this one. And this went pretty quick. I just had other things I was working on at the time, so I didn't get as far as I wanted. So that was Jingle Bell Sleigh Ride by Cherry Hill Stitchery. Next up I have Give Greatly by Silver Creek Samplers. I think this one is a lot of fun. It says, your greatness is not in what you have, but what you give. And I love that the bunny is giving love to the snowman. But I think like this, is the bunny putting the snowman's nose in the carrot or is the snowman giving the bunny the carrot? I don't know. And then the little sleigh down here. This is stitched on 16 count Ada. Uh, Cobalt by Fiber on a Whim. And here is my progress on this one. This one, um, this snowman has a lot of stitches in him, so I hope to finish him this year. We'll see. I'm not gonna, I have a lot of whips. I guess I'm not gonna say I hope to finish them. All this year because that's not possible. Um, I wish it was. I would like to have a much smaller number so I'm gonna work really hard this year on finishes and try to get my numbers down. This one is a kit by Luca S and it's just called the Owls but it's a cute uh, Christmas kit. I love owls. Look, there's even a little owl in the stocking. I have a small start. I started in the middle so I'm on this little guy right here very small start that's how much I got 
and this kit fabric is looks like 18 count Ada. I don't know if it says, but that's what it looks like to me. It uses anchor floss, Ada, 16 count Ada, it does say. This one is another Little House Needleworks. It's Rudolph's sampler. And I just like this one. And I'm doing this one one over one on, it just doesn't say, I think this is Country Mocha, I think. And it's 28 count. So I'm doing it one over one on 28 count. And there's my tiny little start right there. Started in the middle. I really like how petite it is. And this is not very big. So, another fun Christmas one. This next one you've seen recently because it's one that I stitched on in December and it's got a tiny little picture this is by Cherry Hill Stitchery and it's called Hot Cocoa is Calling so I can only show you that tiny little picture it says snow is falling hot cocoa is calling and I started in the middle so I have the snowman and the is falling this is this is 32 count, I thought I had it here, ah, I do, it's in the bag, 32 count Lugana in the color Cinnamon by Bee Stitch Me, and this cinnamon is a really pretty color, I really, really like it. Um, next up I have, next, next. Glory to the Newborn King by Stony Creek. This one was in a magazine. Uh, Carolyn Zook stitched it and I saw it in person and I had to stitch it. You also can order the leaflet. It's leaflet number 556. This was one of my advent starts for December. And this is how far I got. This is stitched on uh, 32 Count Lagana. It's called Weatherstone by Atomic Ranch. I'm in the Fabric of the Month Club with Garon Stitchery. I got this one thing done. This is all the way across. This is the width. And it was fun to do that. There are, I want to say, four colors of green in there. So it was, it only looks like two, but I'm pretty sure there was four. I got stuff like going where I don't want it to go here. The next one is All is Bright by Hands On Design. And this one has a backer board. You can see that it's on. It's made by um, Chantel's 141. So I have this backer board. I don't know if I'm going to paint it red. Um, my fabric is not the called for fabric. This is a 16 count Ada that was, it's by, from Fabrics by Stephanie and it was for the cookie exchange last year, I want to say. And I didn't end up doing that project. Where's my board? Oh, the board went in the box. I didn't end up doing that project, so I still had this piece of fabric, which is the perfect size. And there is my start. This says Happy Holidays. And it will show better, I think. Well, it shows much better in person, but I think it'll show up better also when the whole thing is done. So this is the width. All is Bright by Hands-On Design. This one I love, and why I haven't gotten farther, I don't know. This is by Luminous Fiber Arts, and it's called Mousecapades, and there are seven patterns. The first one is Mice on Ice. And Misty, um, Misty has a border. So you can stitch these individually like she did for the patterns. But then she also showed them stitched all together in one. And that's what I've chosen to do. Um, this is on 16 count Ada that is Frost by Be Stitch Me. 
and I'm only on the first one. He's cl they're close to being done, but I got to finish the ice before I can move on to the next one. It's a fun stitch. It took longer than I thought, um, but it's going to be really cute. I, re I think mice are adorable. Um, Misty's patterns are always really cool. So that is Mousecapades. This next one is a Stony Creek, and it's a banner. So Believe Snow Friends banner. Let's see, I gotta go this far so you can see it. Um, it is leaflet or book number four eight four eighty three, and there are several of these. I started with Believe. Um, there's also a Halloween one that I somehow got for free, and it says Boo. I might switch that at some point, but this is the one I started with. And this is how far I got. I think I did this. I started this in April of 22. This is 18 count white Ada. And I did this all in one. Like I worked on this for a week or two to get all of that done. Because I really enjoyed stitching it. And Stony Creek. I love the shading that they do. But they also have a lot of backstitch. So I do want to get this one out and get farther on it. I got, it's like one third done. And it's, well, I'm not going to keep saying the same phrases over and over. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, this is my last one that's Christmas. And this picture, this was a download and the picture is tiny. It's called um, Comet Reindeer Gnome and the Designer is BDLXXX Stitch, and it was on Etsy, I believe. So that's what it'll look like. This one, if it ever gets done, will be for my sister. She loves gnomes. Um, the stitch count is 136 wide by 163 high, and it's kind of slow stitching. I was able to get this into Pattern Keeper, though, after I did this part, so... When I pick it up again, it'll be easier because it has a lot of colors in it. And that's how far I am. This is a an 18 count Ada that I dyed just a pink color. Okay, that was all that are Christmas. And next I have Halloween. I only have a few Halloween ones. I'm not a fan of Halloween, so I will only stitch if it's something that I think is really cute. And so I do have a few finished Halloweens, and I have three or four in my pile here. This one is Flying Lesson by Silver Creek Samplers. I changed the fabric and some of the colors. This is stitched on Lappin' Loops. 36 count linen and it's called Witch's Brew. I got this from Acorns and Threads. This is where I am. So I changed, um, I don't know. Oh, the only thing I have changed so far in color is this, the band on the hat is green on the pattern and I made it purple. I don't know if I'm gonna change anything else or not, uh, but that's how far I got. This was a stitch along that I failed miserably at. I did not, stitch alongs get me started on things but um, the first couple stitch alongs I did were with Fat Quarter Shop and I made myself finish but now there are other things I want to stitch and so I can't put the time into it to actually finish on their time schedule sorry <clears throat> talking makes my mouth dry so I have a lot of stitch alongs for me, they're start alongs. Um, this next one also was a stitch along. It was, it's another Luminous Fiber Arts pattern, and I think Misty is the one who did the stitch along. I'm stitching this on 16 count Ada that is opulence. It was dyed by Misty with Luminous Fiber, Fiber Arts. And it was a three parter. I don't know if I like the witch. So I have the cat done. And I really am not sure about the witch. I was going to do it like this and finish it this way. Maybe I just need to change the color of her face. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I like this. 
or maybe I should change it and just do two ornaments. I don't know. This is my kitty. Is it all the way done? Uh, I think it's all the way done. It was fun stitching the pumpkin and the cat and the little mouse. Cute little mouse. The next one is also by Luminous Fiber Arts. I like her Halloween stuff because it's cute. I like cute things. This is called Cat O' Lantern. I like the pumpkin and the cat, with the cat inside the pumpkin. I think that's very cute. And I have a pretty small start on this one. I started with the border in the upper right. So that's where I got. And my fabric is 16 Count Garden Party by Be Stitch Me. And you can see it's kind of a peachy color. It's probably hard to see. And it's got splotches of like greenish in it. It's a fun fabric. So that is it for Halloween. And my last pile for holidays is um, patriotic. So let me grab this pile. Up first, I have and this could be a season for me too, because I think I would be doing it as a season. Up first I have Red, White, and Blue by Shannon Christine. This is a fun stitch. Why it's not done? I, I don't know why it's not done. Um, part of it, why it's not done, is I'm stitching on this opalescent fabric, and I do not like stitching on opalescent fabric. I don't, I don't have written down what it is, but it looks like it's a 16 or 18 count Ada. I got the barn done and I need to do the trucks and I got the border on the bottom. I need to do the trucks and then all the fireworks in the sky and there's a tree on each end. So I need to get this out. Um, I do a patriotic on my whip go board so it will come out sometime this year. This one I don't know if I'm going to finish. This one might end up being a UFO. This is Star Spangled Street by Primrose Cottage. It's similar to Tiny Town and it's also similar to um, the hands-on design block that's called the fourth. It's like something the fourth. And I don't need three alike and I'm, no, I'm not really enjoying stitching this one so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going. This is where I am. Let's see which way does this go. I think it goes this way. This is a 14 count Ada that has this um, mottled blue. I love this fabric. I've used it for other things. And this is part of a house and this is part of a house. So I need to evaluate that and see am I going to keep going or am I going to UFO this one. This one is E Pluribus Unum by Jan Hicks Creates. Um, this was in my Ringo. It came up just the other day, so I've been working on it. This is on a fabric that I dyed myself. Oh, there's one of the cards I was missing for a previous picture. I have gotten all the way across, one thread of each color all the way across. That's where I'm at. And the, the blue is going to go down and there's stars in it. And then under the blue there will be more colors. There's stripes that have more colors. But this is how far I got on this one. This one is on my list to finish this year, so it's gonna. I'm going to have to get busy and get some work done on it. This one is, uh, it's gonna be a needle book. It's called Liberty, the State of Being Free and it's by Haystack Stitching, who I had never heard of before. I think I found this on Etsy, I'm not positive. And I have a very small start on it. That 
that's it. Partly done with the border on one part. This is 16 count Ada that's called Morning Fog by Be Stitch Me. I do like this color. It's a beautiful blue color. Next I have They Shall Soar on Wings Like Eagles. This is a Kitty and Me design. This one's very small. It looks big in this picture, but it is... Well, I don't know how many stitches it is because I didn't get that part out, but it's not a lot. And you, this doesn't really look like much. This is part of the flag at the top. And this is, I don't know what fabric. It's 18 count, like it's called smoky gray or something. It's printed and it's modeled. So that is, they shall soar on wings like Goals. Next up, I have One Nation by Bygone Stitches. I think this is beautiful, but it is very, very large. So I am stitching it um, one over one on 25 count Lugana, and I'm pretty sure it's mushroom. This is my start. So it will be. I don't have it here. It's not going to be a big blanket like the other people I've seen stitch it. I've discovered I really like stitching one over one on 25 count because I like the size. I can see it so and the, on it you know you're not getting such a huge project. This next one is Stitchy Stars by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. This was a stitch along, started, uh, I started this one in July of 21. Uh, Kimberly with Fat Quarter Shop was doing it. I'm stitching on a 28 count even weave, is that what that is? Yep. Light blue even weave that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm in this, I'm only in one square, so I have a long way to go. And it's hard to see the white here, but. So this might get finished someday. I do like it. I just, it hasn't called to me in a long, long time. So I haven't stitched on it. This one you've seen recently. This is Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia. This was one that when I first saw her, I really, really wanted to stitch her. It's an out of print pattern. I'm stitching this on a 32 count even weave, um, hand dyed, a special order die from um, x Xju Design, and it's called Dark Sand. I had seen someone else stitch it on this fabric, so I contacted her to ask, and she, she dyed the fabric for me. She has such good customer service. Um, I asked her one day, she dyed it the next day and sent it, and she's in another country. I'm pretty sure I had this fabric in a week from my first contact with her. So that is it. This was um, this was on my Bringo a couple of times, so I got some good progress on it this month. And last but not least for this round, this section group, this is Queen of Freedom, also by Mirabilia. And I love this one also. I actually think I like it better than Lady of the Flag. Um, but Lady of the Flag, when you read on the pattern, um, she was created as a memorial piece for 9-11. I don't know if this one says why she, why she did her. Um, the fabric I got for this one is 32 Count Lugana by Be Stitch Me, and it's called Winter Blues, and I absolutely love this fabric. This is my tiny little start. And I'll show you this fabric. I want to get some more of this. I think I said this in the last video. This is just, the fabric is stunning. I love it. This would be good for um, like Christmas ornaments, I think.
So that was my last holiday one. This section is going to be seasons and months. So I'm going to start with seasons. The first one I have is one that I started in 2021. Um, I started this because Stitch Again Sam was doing it and I thought it would be fun. It's in this Emma Congdon book, Cross Stitch for the Earth. And these don't have names. This is just number 19. And so this is it. It's got all four seasons in one design. I went great guns for a long time. And then I don't know what happened. I just stopped. I'm stitching this on 14 count white Ada. And this is something I just need to pull out and finish because it's so close to being done. It's not going to all fit on this board. I need to be sure it's right side up. Yeah, this is right side up. So this is it. I'm on the last, what season is this? Spring. I'm on spring. Because I started in the middle and then I work that way. So I have to come back to spring. And it won't take too long. I just need to pull it out and finish it. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I have not decided that yet. I'm not as in love with it as I was when I started. I hate it when that happens. But it is so far done that I can't not finish it. It just might have to be a gift for somebody because I don't know where I will put it. Uh, this next one is a spring one. And it's in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. The... 2023 spring issue and it's this one and this is by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I, I'm changing the colors I think but I just thought that was fun. I'm stitching this on well it doesn't say it's 16 count and it's like it's that smoky gray print and all I have in the middle is the L and O for hello. This was one of my um, Advent stitches for December. One of my starts. I started. My goal was to start 12. I ended up starting 35 projects in December. This next one is from uh, Stony Creek Magazine. And it doesn't say. I don't know which one it is. The magazine is not. Is the magazine here? No, the magazine is not here. I don't know which one it is, but this is what it is. It's called Spring Rejoice. And I also I bought the frame, so when it's done, I can frame it just the way they did. It is stitched on. 14 count Ada that's called Vintage Blue Whisper. This is one I showed in one of my Christmas or anyway in the first segment something was on this. It's called Vintage Blue Whisper. And I finished the first block and I'm in the second block. And this is really pretty. But this is because it's Stony Creek there's a lot of color changes and a lot of back stitching so it's uh, more time intensive than some of the other designers might be. Uh, here's another Stony Creek. This is called Summer in the Village. There is one for every season. And for some reason, this is the one that struck me. They're all pretty. Like, if I was going to do another one, it probably would be Christmas. But again, like I just said about Stony Creek, they are very time-intensive because of the... Um, density of the stitching and then there's a lot of back stitching. This is just on an 18 count ivory Ada. I started in the middle. I finished that first house. Did I do the... Oh, it's not all the way done. They're supposed to say something right there. So I guess I haven't done all the back stitching on this one yet. It's fun to stitch. It's just it takes more time than some of the other things that I have discovered since. Because this is from... I started this in July of 21. And my stitching tastes and habits have changed quite a bit since then. This one was from the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit 
put on by Acorns and Threads uh, last fall. This is Turning Leaves by Satsuma Street. I think this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Fall is my favorite season, although not usually color-wise, but Jody did a really good job with the colors. Um, the fabric that she, that's the fabric she provided for us. And it is 30 count Havana, 30 count linen, Weeks Dye Works Havana. And we're doing um, two over two, stitching two over two. This one's kind of wrinkly. And I think I only have one. Wow, it's not kind of wrinkly. It's very wrinkly. I apologize for that. I finished one leaf and started another. This is, I did top left. So I'm working on the, I mean top center. I'm working on the top center. I need to get this one out. I said I wasn't going to keep saying that because I need to get them all out and finish them. Um, now we're getting into winter. This one is called Winter Snow Fun by Shannon Christine Designs. I love Shannon Christine. And I have a small start on it. I'm stitching on 32 count Lugana that's Coconut Shell by Be Stitch Me. And I love this coconut shell color for a neutral. I'm not, you might notice I don't stitch on neutrals very often, but this is one of my favorites. A small start. And I actually even forgot that this one was, that I had this one, so it hasn't been worked on for quite a while. I started it in November of 22, but it was buried and I forgot I had it. So next up is Winter Friends Welcome. This is from the Stony Creek Summer 2020 edition. This is another one because of Carolyn Zook. I saw this in person after she had it framed. It's just really pretty. And I don't have the fabric written down. It's a 28. Yeah, the card's not on here either. 28 count something. 28. Nope, I don't have it. Is it the called for fabric? Maybe that would be helpful. Called for fabric, 28 count light, no it's not, this is, says light ash gray Lugana. This is not ash gray, it's not Lugana, it's linen, I think it's 28 count linen. This is how far I am, I'm working on the raccoon. And it's a lot of fun to stitch on, I really am enjoying stitching on it. Anytime they call for gray, I'm more likely to choose a blue fabric than a gray fabric. This is, and I don't have a picture for this one, it was a mystery stitch along, and I don't think she ever actually gave us a picture, she just gave us charts. Um, this is a Satsuma Street stitch along, it's called Winter Woods Mystery. I am doing it on 18 count Ada that I hand dyed, and there are four sections. I finished the first section and I'm working on the second section, and I'm doing mine, you could do them in a grid, like two by two, with a grid or you could do them long or up and down and I'm doing up and down so this is there's my first square and there's the second square I love that fox and this fabric was fun to dye and this one actually she started with square number two I believe so this is the middle sort of these two are the middle so that's why there's so much fabric at the top because I need to put another one up there Of Satsuma Street. She's one of my favorite, my new favorites. This one you've seen recently because it was on my Bringo. This is Heart of Winter by Little Dove Designs. This one I started in 2022 because of Brenda the Handwork Maniac. This calls for a dove gray. I am again stitching on blue. 28 count even weave in light blue. And this one is on my list for finishing this year. So, and it came up, um, came up on Whipco. So it's coming out for February. This is where I'm at. I'm working up here. 
and the top half the bottom half is done except maybe some back stitching I'm not sure I don't remember this is fun to stitch on also well they're all fun to stitch on if they weren't why would I be doing it um, this one I haven't touched yet this uh, um, I did New Year's Eve 12 by 12 in on December 31st of 22 and this was one that I chose this is called winter snowfall by Shannon Christine designs and this picture does not do it justice um, a bunch of people on Facebook stitched it and showed it it's got a bunch of beads and it's just stunning and I got a tiny little start on it that day um, I'm stitching on 28 count Lugana and the, it's from Grace Nose Fabrics and it's called Sonatina and it is I think it's gray and all I've got is this one little it's a snowflake doesn't look like a snowflake because it's not done but this was the start something new every hour for 12 hours and that's what I got in my first hour of the 12 by 12 New Year's three New Year's Eve those were all the seasons now I'm gonna go into the months I've been working on hands-on design um, what's this called a year of celebrations this is number one I have finished I think I did December 1st no did I do December July August I did August these are tiny little pictures it's hard to see and it's fully finished in somewhere I couldn't find it I have finished February and it's in my drawer to finish to fully finish so here's February and I'm working on January this is my January and this fabric is I think it's 16 count Ada from Be Stitch Me and I think it's after the harvest I think I'm not positive I think I have a couple of different fabrics in this bag next is this one I don't have a picture this was a uh, by Stitch and Mommy one of her temperature typographies and I just chose the one that's the months this I think was for 2021 I'm pretty sure that's the year I did and all the months are done it's done stitching basically um, technically based on the pattern it's done stitching but I want to put the year and Salem Oregon up here and I'm contemplating putting a border around it I'm not sure but I this so this is like one or two days and it would be fully fully finished well it wouldn't be fully fully finished because it wouldn't be framed but it would be all the way done and I could then frame it it was fun to stitch but I don't know that I'll do another temperature typography this is called well hello there this is by hands-on design and there is one of these for every month there's a button pack they each have buttons on them and there was a button pack for it and I got the button pack I am working on February I'm trying to think where I've finished I think this is the fourth one so I've finished three and they're put away somewhere this is where I am this is very close to being done actually oh yeah like I just need to finish this and then put on its buttons and it'll be done this is um, 16 or 18 count and it's the pale gray gingham that the fat quarter shop has and I'm trying to use that for all of those and then my last month one this is the January sampler by sugar stitches and they have one for every month and a couple of the months I don't really like so I brought the bought the ones I like but this is the only one I've started and this is a company that you don't see an actual finished product you only see a mock-up which is not my favorite way to purchase a pattern but then again it's kind of fun to watch it grow and see it 
Um, this is being stitched on 28 count mushroom lugana. And I'm here. I was working on all the, there's a lot of white on the word January for snow. And that's what I was most recently working on. A lot of my projects have a lot of white and sometimes I get tired of white so I have to go stitch on something else instead. Um, that's the last one for this group. So that was it for this for installment number two of my whip parade and I hope you will watch the third installment as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying all of this. And if you like it, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends.